Hello, I am K.S. Rao once again with another Sudoku puzzle. Actually, this puzzle is an interesting one. In fact, a friend of mine sent this puzzle telling me that he finds it very difficult to solve and he asked me to help to solve it. Well, I really do not know whether it is a difficult one or not. But I found that a few tricks can be applied and it becomes an easy puzzle and it becomes very interesting also. Therefore, I have decided to take a video of it. Normally, let me tell you honestly that a large number of people send puzzles to me, ask me to solve and all that. Most of them I, I politely uh, seek excuse. Okay. Now, this puzzle, uh, as I always keep saying, kindly copy it on a piece of paper, nice piece of paper, neatly drawn and try on your own. After that, when you see this video, you will enjoy and you will, even if you are able to solve, I wish you, you are able to solve, you can find the differences between your method and my method. Okay. So let's go to the puzzle proper now. As I mentioned, this is an interesting puzzle, uh, just 24 numbers I think given, okay. Uh, our usual uh, method of uh, commencing a puzzle is like this. Look at this top order strip. The only place you can uh, find for the number 4 which is occurring two times is here. Because you have a cross check down below here, another here. And no other number is occurring two times. Okay, look down like this. Here again we have got number 1 occurring two times, I'm sorry, this, this four should look like four only, okay. So here, we find an exclusive place for number one down here, okay. So other numbers are occurring just once each. Here, number three occurs two times, but we don't know here or here. Other numbers, as usual, occurring just once. Come here to the right vertical strip. Uh, number 8 occurs here, here also number 8, we don't know here or here, leave it be there for the time being, and what else, nothing else, okay, we didn't see this uh, horizontal strip, number 3 is occurring two times in row D, and again row E also, that means number 3 has to be here or here, it is E7 or E9. Okay. No. Uh, have a look. Come, other numbers are occurring once each. Come down to the bottom horizontal strip. Here we have everything once occurring only. Number 2 occurs twice. Don't know here or here, but at this time we can't tell. Okay. And then the one interesting thing about number 3 in this strip R row J is you have a number 3 there, you can't write here, repeat here. You have a number 3 here, you can't repeat here. You have a number 3 here, you can't repeat here. It means number 3 has to occur here or here only in this row J. The same thing we observed while discussing the middle horizontal strip is that number 3 should be here or here. Now, we come to the most important trick for this puzzle that is X-Wing. Now, we have just discussed that a 3 can be here or here or here or here. So, what these four locations are forming the four corners of a rectangle. Okay. Now, just imagine, you will happen to put a number 3 here, you can't repeat it there. So, you can't repeat here, the next 3 has to be here. The same number 3, if you happen right here, the next 3 should be here. So, this is the next thing. So, uh, occupying these 4 corners of a, a rectangle in this case, it means that number 3 cannot, be, cannot get repeated anywhere up there or up here. Therefore, that's the reason it, it, it forms an X-Wing. Okay. It means 
thing most interesting part is the three cannot be repeated here that again three cannot be repeated here looking at this box we have this four here number three has to be here at a8 or c8 same way we observe that number eight also has to be at a8 or c8 so two figures three as well as eight have to occupy a8 and c8 therefore let us write our first lucky pair of 3 and 8 here 3 8 3 8 okay and then have a look look down in this column number 8 we have a 7 here which means that number 7 cannot be repeated these two places we have a 7 here cannot be replicated here that means in this column number 8 the only place for number 7 is this ok come left look at this box the next number 7 should come here fine look up in this left vertical strip the only place for a number 7 is D1 D1 that is number 7 ok so and come this side we have a 7 in row D we have a 7 in row E we have a 7 here down below so in this box the only place for number 7 is here and go up what happens we have a 7 here that 4 already blocks this A6 and this 7 blocks this so the only obvious place for number 7 in this box is here and then we come to our box number 3 <laughs> you see for the place the reasonable uh, the justifiable place for number 7 is here ok so incidentally we have completed all the number 7's required for this puzzle of course we had 2 or 3 in the beginning so in every box we have written the 7 ok whether it was there originally or now we have written fine and now come back to this column number 8 we have got 3 vacancies now after writing that 3 and 8 and this 7 here let us see what we can do with these three places. We require 1, 2 and 5. We have a 2 here. So let me write 1 and 5 here. 2 here and 2 here also meaning the same. Okay. Sometimes I may mention about this, sometimes I may mention about that too. Doesn't matter. Okay. Here no 2, no 5, no 1 is cross checking. Therefore, let me write all the three numbers there. 1 2 5 here also 1 2 5 ok and now incidentally in box 3 we have got 1 2 3 4 5 numbers in our hand so we require 4 more that is these 3 places can we see what are the numbers required ok we require 1 5, 6 and 9 ok let's write them down I see only 1 cross checking so out of 1, 5, 6, 9 1 is cross checking here so let me write 5, 6, 9 here and 5, 6, 9 here also ok that's a 6 ok and then what about this 1, 5, 6, 9 nothing is cross checking here in both directions so let me write all the four numbers there 1569 1569 here we got a 5 so we can write 1 6 and 9 there ok and now see the interesting part in filling up these numbers is that number 1 has to be in column number 7 that is a7 or c7 only 
that means number 1 cannot be repeated anywhere down below in this column so make use of that point let us fill this point and this point and this point if plus one is already there okay so this one is already here oh yeah one is here one is here so this is the only place a uh, one is uh, likely to come but we know it cannot come there okay so let us uh, take that into account and fill up one can't be there two can't be there three can't be there four cannot be there five can come six yes six also can be written there seven eight and nine are all the same box okay now one interesting thing we see here look at column number seven these these four cells only we have made up a quadro here there is a group of four numbers distributing among themselves in four cells one five six nine okay so these four numbers have no business to be get replicated down below so what are the two numbers here required it is 3 uh, and 4 uh, yeah it's 3 and 4 3 there 4 there 3 and 4 okay now let's come to the next interesting stage look at row j and this box we have totally four vacancies in this row j and we have this 2 and 8 standing aloof that means this these two numbers cannot get replicated here therefore therefore sorry the two numbers should find a place in row j here and here no cross check of 2 or 8 above so we get we can we can get to write these two numbers making them a pair and writing here 2 and 8 and 2 and 8 that brings us to the last cell in row j what is the number which has to be there certainly the matching pair for this 3 and 4 okay 3 and 4 we written there okay now what about uh, hardly any number of cells are vacant in this right vertical strip let us see what can be done what about this this box we can complete okay let us look at it the other way wow which is our way so we look at this row f it has got four numbers already we require five numbers to complete that is 2 3 4 5 and 8 2 3 4 5 and 8 okay we got 2 it is there 3 4 5 there okay now what about this 2 3 4 5 8 again we got a 3 also there so Two and four, and oh, two is there. Sorry, how? Oh. Let us see what is it. Oh, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm, we're, we're referring only to this row. I'm sorry, not like that. Okay, let us fill up this one now. What are the numbers which will come? Let me we'll cut this. Uh, sorry, the mistake. Let us fill it up now. One can be written there. Two is there. Three is there. Four can be written. Five also can be written, and six too. Yeah, six also. One, four, five, six. So many numbers can be written there. Okay. Okay. Now, see now, a very very important trick. You know, we have discussed in one in um, quite a few of my earlier videos. about an odd c trick odd c trick odd c look at this f7 j7 f9 and j9 we have 3 4 3 4 3 4 3 4 5 here 
so these four cells are making up a the four corners of a rectangular rectangle like three okay now our rc trick says we if we think three as a and four as b a b a b a b a b c so we confirm c here so let's strike that and confirm number five here okay now after writing that five what happens we get a six here six there and five and six can be removed from these three cells so let us cut that five there and five there and five and six also to be removed there okay now this one and two pair is there in this box therefore one also has no business to be here in e9 therefore number four results there okay after writing that four what happens to this one f7 it becomes a three and here is a four here it is a three we made a lot of progress this five we can delete above we delete that we have six and nine there i think it is nine yeah it is nine okay now what about the remaining cells in this column number nine we require one six and nine we have a one here so let's write that one there and naturally it is for six and nine six is here so we get a nine there okay so and it is six six there okay after writing this number one there this is number five at h8 it becomes number five okay what more no after writing this six here we can make some corrections there six is there also we can make some corrections here so you have the six and that six and that six we have a tray of one five nine there in box number three it will be there sometime let's I'll look at other the other aspects of this puzzle okay and now in this box we have got already five numbers in our hand including this pair of two and eight so the four places to be filled up can we do something what we require is uh, three four five and six see our uh, blue line trick we require three four five six for this box we have a four we have a five we have a six which cannot be replicated here which means number three has to take this position okay so look left we have put a three just now we have got a three down below look at this box we have a three cross checking above the only place for number three in this box is here okay now let us think of these three cells what happens now at this time we require four five six there we have a four here we have a four there therefore we get our four here and then these two cells we have to be five here so we can write a five there the six here okay and now that brings us the last number required for row h that is what number we got one two three four five everything is there except number nine okay fill it up have a look at this box two vacancies there can anything be done here we require six and eight no cross check of six and eight above let us write them down okay make a pair and make it six and eight six eight okay then where should we go what should we oh, yeah row f has got plenty of numbers just three numbers are required that is two four and eight yeah we have this four covering these two cells 
course, one four is there, one four is here also. That means for this row F, we can write our number four here. Okay. And what about these two cells? Number two and eight. Yeah. Number two is here. So let's write eight here and two there. Okay. As soon as we write the number eight there, what about this cell G2? It becomes a six there. Just a few minutes ago version, maybe a minute ago. And this G1 takes number eight. Wow. Expression. Okay. Let us have a look at this uh, first column, number three. Okay. We have got one, two, three, four. Five, six, and eight are required to complete. Anything happens? Yeah, we have got six and eight here. Our two by three trick. So we can straight away put our number five here. Yeah, okay. Now what about these two places in this box? We have a six here written down below. So let us put our six here. And this last place in row E, I mean, not, not sorry, row E in box four is for number nine. Okay. And then let's look at this box. Is there anything can be done? Probably, yeah, we have a 2 here, we have a 2 here, we have a 2 in A9, therefore at B1, let us put our 2 there. Then the last number for this column of 1 is, it is clearly number 9, okay. And what about this, the remaining cells in this box? Wow. We have a 3 here, we have a 3 there. That means we can write a 3 here. Okay. As soon as we write a number 3 here, look right. The first lucky pair we have written for this puzzle gets broken now. And we get an 8 here. And a 3 there. Okay. So, probably we finish the story of number 3, 3, and number 3, the number 3 also. Yeah, we're done. All complete done. Okay, now what else to do? Can we think of these three cells in box A? Box 1, sorry. 5, 6 and 8 are required. We see a 5 readily here. That means we can write a 5 here. And 6 and 8 required. 8 is there. Let's write an 8 there and 6 here. Okay, now <laughs> I think we are, <laughs> we are completing the puzzle. My friend, why he got why he got frightened about this puzzle, I don't understand now. Anyhow, he's a friend of mine, so I will not uh, criticize him. Okay. Uh, now this uh, this let's look at this box. Okay. We have okay. Let's see. Uh, after writing this nine here, or oh, let us look at this five. After writing this five here, this place gets a name there, and this. Here, C7 gets number 1, and naturally that place is for 5. So we have completed this right vertical strip except these two cells that is a pair of 1 and 2 sitting there. Let's split it with there now. Okay. Now row B is having just one vacancy now. Incidentally, it is for number 8. Okay. It is for number 8, rest of them are there. And then what about row A has got only 2 vacancies, can they be filled up? We require 2 and 6, no, no, 2 is there, sorry. Uh, 1 and 6, yeah. We got a 6 here, so let's put a 1 there and 6 here. I hope uh, things are going on well. What about these two cells, can anything be done? To complete this box, we require 2 and 9. Interestingly, we don't have a check, cross check of 2 or 9 down below. Let it be here, okay. Now let us look at these things in this fashion. Now we have got an 8 there. So looking at this J6, our second pair, okay. This gets broken. We can get that 2 there and 8 here. 
looking back at this box this two can take this place so that two takes this place and what about this this nine yeah clearly nine and then we are left with hardly anything now the, the only one vacancy is there in current board six that is what number Whether one two three four are there five is missing let's read that five there yeah five 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 we have to cross check now and otherwise we make some mistakes okay what about this uh, shall we look at this current number five what it requires we need one and nine to complete we have got a nine here let's try to our nine there and one here as soon as we read this number one here look right we correct this pair and make two there and here is one okay now we have come to the end of this puzzle wonderful puzzle it's very interesting but what about these two places we should not make a mistake now we need a two and eight yeah we have a two there eight there so we can just exchange right over two there and eight here is done okay so i think it is an interesting very interesting puzzle we did not actually encounter any problems and this uh, the beauty of this puzzle is let me repeat we have found x wing in these four cells and also our odd c trick in these four cells only that is a very interesting part that is the reason i have decided to show this puzzle to you all in a video okay so now other things you know i think is just uh, looking around and filling up i am sure you have enjoyed also okay that's about the puzzle now the next thing is my usual talk about this this paragraph so uh, i will not read that again i will not give any description but kindly read this this these few lines if anybody is interested in reading this book some miracles shown by god they're all real occurrences not even 1 million of any event there is untrue okay so Uh, people have read they are just um, uh, extremely happy i should say okay that's one thing about that book and this sudoku made easy is the first book i had written on sudoku it was out of our print for some time and now it's available in amazon.in those who are interested please order please the order they'll get the book in few days time okay that's about the puzzle in these books god bless you all